So your movie is perfect and you are ready to export so you can turn in your MP4. Yay! Beautiful. Quite simple to do, but you have to understand the settings that you're going to use. So the goal of this movie is not to explain in detail everything about all the settings. Thank God. The goal here is just to make it kind of as simple and easy as possible for you to export in a good format so that your movie looks good, but hopefully won't take too much memory. And so uh, here we go. So here's my finished movie and uh, I would like to export this. So what we're gonna be doing is called export media. And you're gonna get to those controls. You can right click on the file you want to export here, uh, or you can go to the file menu, pull down to export and go to media. So what you're noticing here is that media is grayed out. Oh, I cannot man. select it. So why is that? I don't know. Well, because nothing is currently active down here in this window, it doesn't know what I want to export. So I'm gonna click away to close that. And what I want to export is the sequence. Okay, very important. Very. So you wanna choose the sequence, which is this right here, and because your sequence is what contains all your clips in the timeline. And so with that selected, I can now go back to File, Export, media and you'll see command m is the keystroke for that and that will bring up this window here and so what you want to make sure is that the whole movie is showing now mine is uh, right now my source range says sequence in out uh, but i haven't set any in out so it's showing the whole thing uh, but you can make sure of that and go down here and choose entire sequence Conversely, if you wanted to export a little piece of your movie just to see how it looks, then you can do that. You can literally move these little in-out points right here to encompass just what you want. So let's move over to this stuff. Okay. okay. So you'll notice the top here says format. Well, this is a no-brainer. You want to make the format be H.264. And then the preset. Right now, mine is set to YouTube because most of the videos I make for you guys get uploaded onto YouTube. But if I drop this menu, you'll see that there are a boatload of choices. And there's a very good chance when you come to do this, it's going to default to match source high bitrate, which is actually a pretty good choice to make because it just matches exactly what your sequence is set to, and it gives it a high bit rate, and bit rate equates to quality. How many bits does it save per second to render your video? So the more bits, the, the better the quality. Also, the higher the memory. That's a good preset to choose. Next thing down here is output name. So I'm gonna click on this blue thing right here. This is the name of mine. And I'm gonna give it a new name. So what I would do is probably whatever your movie is named, put that in here and then maybe an underscore with your name after it will be very good. Make sure you keep the .mp4 extension and then you can just navigate to where you want to save this. I'm going to put this on my desktop and then I'm going to close save. So nothing will happen. You're just telling it what the name is and where to save it. Uh, so by default, export video and export audio should both be checked. And then you want to look at this summary right here. So this tells you where your movie is saving to. Um, this tells you the size of it. It tells you that there are square pixels. Uh, this tells you the frame rate, 30 frames per second. And so that's good. You just want to make sure that those are um, saying what you expect them to be saying. Uh, the defaults for sound are going to be fine, and the other stuff is kind of beyond the scope of this project, so don't worry about it. All right, so down here, you really don't need to change anything at all. You can really just go down here to the very bottom and see the estimated file size, which uh, this is a short film, so it's only 16 megabytes. Um, but let me show you one more thing. If I scroll up in this video area, you'll see at the bottom bitrate. So right here, target bitrate. And so right now, uh, that, that, high, that high quality bitrate setting is 10. So say you really, your movie was taking way too much memory. You can move this. Now, if you go to the next setting down, 
which is medium bitrate, it kicks it all the way down to three, which I think is a little bit too low. But what if you tried taking this, say, down to, say, seven and a half? Eight is still considered high quality, so we'll just put it right about there, and you'll see that that has gotten the memory down to 12 megabytes. Or say the opposite's true, that you would really like a little more quality, and the memory right now is manageable. So you could pull that up higher to say, let's say 25, which is pretty darn high. And you'll see that increases the amount of memory to 39 megabytes, so like two and a half times. So I'm gonna stick with 10, 10 is a good number, and we can say good to go now. Now at the bottom here, there's two buttons you can click. You can click the Q button, and what that will do is open up another program called Media Encoder. And this allows you to put a whole bunch of things in a queue and uh, export them all at once. You can also export them in different formats and so forth. So in, from a production point of view, the queue is a very good thing. But let's face it, you're exporting one movie. So just click the Export button, and that will take you to the magical kingdom of MP4 land. So I'm going to choose that. It will render the film, and this will happen relatively quickly because it is a short film. Movie rendered. It is now on my desktop, so I am going to open it and pull this into frame. Beautiful, and now we are ready to play this. So that is it. We will go out um, watching this splendid film.